Well, it is a dull, dreary day here in Ottawa, uh, somewhat uh, representative of the election that we are headed into. There are no good choices. Right? I don't want to vote for the Liberals because of all the corruption and incompetence. I don't want to vote for the Conservatives because there might be a hidden agenda. I don't want to vote for the NDP because they might get in. <laughs> Uh, I certainly cannot uh, support Justin Trudeau. The man is a. So I'm uh, just sitting down to uh, edit this. Uh, edit. So um, just sat down to edit this video, and uh, on the advice of legal counsel, uh, actually my wife, uh, I have decided to remove some of the more uh, incendiary uh, parts of this video. There's nothing here that I. I haven't said before numerous times uh, in person and uh, on social media. It's just that perhaps this time I may have said it a little more angrily. Uh, actually, I believe my wife's words were, uh, it's very bleak. You're supposed to be a comedian. Uh, anyway, if the video seems a bit chopped up, that's why. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, he is not working for Canada. Uh, and it's very bleak. Uh, Andrew Shear? I don't actually mind Andrew Scheer personally, but uh, his supporters terrify me. If you are looking for a separation... Uh, once again, nothing that I haven't said before, and my uh, stand on uh, certain issues uh, is fairly public record, I would think. Because they want to have that law, right? We're not allowed to wear your religious clothing, your religious... Sin. I go totally the other way. That is so un-Canadian. I go totally the other way. They say, if you're, if you're religious, I want you wearing every symbol you got. That way, when I run into you, I know what particular brand of crazy I'm going to have to deal with. Uh, Jagmeet Singh and the NDP? Not sure why I'm breaking in here. I really have nothing bad to say about Jagmeet Singh. Uh, if it were, you know, just voting for a leader, hands down, Jagmeet. But it's not, unfortunately. Uh, leaders come with parties. I'm not saying don't vote NDP. I'm just saying don't overvote NDP. That's what I'm saying. And the Greens would go even further and trash the economy to save the planet if we are actually capable of saving the planet. Uh, so what does that leave you with? Uh, I am seriously looking at independence. Um, the PPC, perhaps, I mean, they can't all be crazy, but... I really wish I was voting in Vancouver Granville or Stouffville, Ontario, because those lucky Canadians have very legitimate independent candidates in Jody Wilson-Raybould and Jane Philpot. So obvious that I'm reading this, isn't it? Look at the way my eyes dart over once in a while, huh? Uh, side note, brush with fame. I recently discovered that I went to school with Jane Philpott. I didn't know, of course, because uh, she was using her maiden name when we were in grade five. See, I can be funny. Take a serious look at the independence in your region. And I can hear the whining already. Oh, you'll split the vote. No, I don't want to split the vote. I want to take the vote. I want to take it from people and parties who don't deserve it, who are clearly in the pocket of big corporations and foreign governments and give it to people who will work for their constituents and their country. And yeah, I know I'm wearing a completely different shirt now. Uh, you know, if we all voted independent, I don't know how we'd ever coordinate that, but if we all voted independent, we would throw out all the major parties on the same day, along with all their crooked connections, all their cronies, and the party. Uh, anyway, get out there and vote. I'm not telling you who to vote for, but uh, get out there and vote. And uh, good luck to this country. So, is that so bleak?